so now let's talk about const and how, how it works with pointers. It's it's actually a little interesting, not too complex though. Don't let this hurt your hurt, hurt your brain cells by any means. So instead of uh, defining C here on the stack, I'm going to make a pointer here and let's just say let's go back to non-const. C gets new cow. Then I'm gonna say um, const uh, cow star const cow gets C. So now I have one object here on the heap. In fact, I should delete it. Delete C. Uh, I have one object here on the heap. I have two pointers pointing to that same object, except one of the pointers has const in front of it, and one of the other pointers doesn't. So, so really what that means is when I have const out here, it means that the object I am pointing to is const as far as this pointer is concerned. So here I can say C uh, moo just fine because C is a non-const pointer. This is a regular pointer. To, but now that I have a const cow here, this const cow, const cow, I can't call moo on it because the compiler, as far as the compiler is concerned, it's going to say, hey, um, this pointer here is const. You're trying to call a non-const function. This is the exact same thing we saw in the previous video. So, um, so that's one caveat with uh, with pointers. Now, watch what happens. I'm going to take this const and I'm going to put it out here. <laughs> Which uh, notice the red squigglies went away. So, watch what happens here. I can go. Uh, let's run this. I'll just prove that it still works. And so hopefully you're scratching your head thinking, uh, what is moving the const over there? First of all, syntactically it's kind of weird. But then moving the const on this side, what does that do? Well, that means that the pointer itself is const. Not the object I'm pointing to, but the pointer itself is const. This thing's const. Not the object it's pointing to. Not this thing out on the heap. This pointer is const. So I can't turn around and say... Uh, const cow gets, oh, let me back this off here a little bit, const cow gets new cow. It's going to complain and say, hey, um, I can't modify this value. It's const. This pointer, you told me to point it at this object out here on the heap, and I'm going to point to it until the day I die. So that's what moving that const over there is for. Rarely do I use this. Rarely have I seen it used in practice. I, mean, I don't know, maybe some programmers and some some companies like it, like it. Uh, you could also do this. You can say, hey, the object I'm pointing to is const, and also the pointer is const. That's as const as you can get. So now that I've had this const out here uh, before, we get the same complaint saying, hey, you can't call moo. Moo is not a, moo is not a const function. Anyway, whew, lots of const. And this is, this is one reason why I kind of frown away a little bit from it. I, I mean, I am a in my C++ coding, I do put const on functions that don't modify the data, but really I kind of just don't care. I just I do it because I should be const correct, and I want to be a professional C++ programmer. But other than that, I mean, there's so many rules and caveats with const. In fact, I found a good Wikipedia article. Here it is, this Wikipedia article on const correctness. And in the videos, I'm going to... I mean, I'm forced to. I have to talk about the things you'll bump into and the things that are important. So we'll talk about those in the videos. But if you really want to get into all the details of const and all that kind of stuff. You can. Um, don't get lost though because some of it is actually useless in my humble uh, yet religious opinion.